Hey guys, Liz Lackard here. Today we're going to talk about an alternative to the Google Keyword Planner for SEO research. I've included a link to my video on how to use the Google Keyword Planner for SEO research if you haven't done that before. Should be somewhere nearby or below this video. So, recording this video because I've seen some recent reports on some bug reports with Google Keyword Planner, um, but also the Google Keyword Planner, or Google, has started to throttle some of the data as reported by Search Engine Land. So, you may or may not see when you log into your account um, to try and do some keyword research that you're not actually getting specific average monthly searches anymore, you might be seeing some ranges, which is not as helpful when it comes to trying to pick some of the best phrases to use in your blog post and other pages to optimize your content. So if the Google Keyword Planner is on its way out or if we're getting frustrated with using it, what are some other options where we don't have to spend a lot of money? I want to walk you through uh, one of my new favorite keyword research tools. So one of my new favorite tools is actually the Keyword Explorer from Moz. Um, if you've been a follower for a while, you may have heard me sing Moz's praises in the past, but the Keyword Explorer is definitely a good option if you're looking for an alternative to the Keyword Planner. So one uh, caveat here is that it's primarily a paid tool, but at the moment they are letting you search for free twice a day. So um, definitely a better fit for one-off keyword optimization. So maybe you're writing a new blog post and you want to see how to optimize it. You could head to the Moz Keyword Explorer to do a quick search on that um, to try and get some better ideas for your post. So this is what it looks like and let's walk through an example of um, using this tool. So let's say I am a wedding photographer and I am trying to write a blog post on some of my favorite ideas for wedding uh, poses that my clients can use because I know that a lot of my clients uh, start to research different ideas of doing wedding poses while they're shopping for wedding photographer. So if I enter in the phrase wedding pose ideas into the keyword explorer, you can see here that I've uh, ran out of my available free queries for the day. But so wedding pose ideas, this is what it looks like in keyword explorer. If you're familiar with keyword planner, this is what it looks like over in the um, Google keyword planner, wedding pose ideas up here and all of the um, ideas down here. Again, I have that link to how to use this tool if you'd like to uh, you know, peruse this in more detail, but let's get back to keyword explorer. So keyword explorer already, it's a lot cleaner, it's a lot nicer to look at and it gives us a few different stats that the keyword planner doesn't. So let's walk through these. So volume, this shows us how much people are actually searching for this phrase. And if you mouse over all of these different eyes next to each of these terms, they, um, they explain them here. So the higher this is, the more it's searched for. Uh, difficulty is, you know, how many other people are actually um, trying to rank for this. Opportunity is uh, more of a score on how many people actually will click through to results on this. It's primarily based on, um, you know, how much ads um, are actually on uh, the page for uh, the search results. So if I type in wedding pose ideas and there's like three large Google AdWords ads before we even get to the natural search results, this would be lower. A higher score means there's more natural results. And then the potential just kind of takes a look at all of these and rolls them up into one. So the higher this is, the, the better uh, choice this is for you. So all of that, um, you know, is nice to look at if you want, but if you really just want to replicate the data you're getting in Keyword Planner, you want to really look at this, the keyword suggestion. So if you click on this, 
you'll get brought to the keyword suggestion page in detail. Now, one of the cool features here is that you can group keywords that kind of go together already. So, you know, as Google is trending toward looking more at the meaning of your post rather than the exact um, match of particular words, this is a good tool to use to try and get a good topic uh, phrase for your post. So if you leave this as the default and then here say yes with high lexical similarity, meaning that they're uh, very similar words, then you get a grouped version down here. So right off the bat you can start to see that yes, wedding pose ideas gets fairly low search volume, but if we keep scrolling through here trying to see um, you know, what our options are, if there's anything pretty big. The first big one here is about 4,300 and more for wedding picture ideas. Now, interesting to note that right now, that's also about the search volume I got over here. But again, uh, in my view, I'm not getting that throttling yet um, that we're expecting to get uh, shortly. So, here we can see the wedding picture ideas. And then we can also take a look at all of the grouped ones related to it. So wedding picture ideas, uh, wedding ideas and pictures, picture ideas for weddings, best wedding pictures ideas, all of those sorts of things. And we can continue to scroll down here and see if there's anything else that best matches the intent of our post. Maybe wedding photo ideas, another good one. And again, you can click through and take a look at this. So basically, based off of this, I might use the phrase um, wedding photo ideas. I might use the phrase um, best picture ideas. Um, you know, we might do a combo of wedding picture and photo ideas um, to make your wedding memorable, something like that. This is all just a starting platform for you to choose the topic for your blog posts. And then if you really want to get competitive with it, um, Keyword Explorer also offers you this tool which shows you what people are already, um, what, wh who is already ranking for this phrase. So if we open this up, we'll see that there are nine results here. And the cool thing here is that we get to see their actual uh, titles of the posts. So if you're looking to stand out, you might want to do something that is not just a list of ideas. Um, you know, make something that stands out a little bit from the crowd. So uh, something that the Google Keyword Planner never even offered. So Google uh, Keyword Planner might be on the outs. Moz Keyword Explorer uh, is free up to two uses a day, which could be a good alternative for you. Um, another one that has a little bit of a limit on it is the KW Finder. Um, it's very similar to uh, Moz Keyword Explorer in that you only get uh, two searches per day and you get similar other data. Um, so you could potentially expand out to having four free searches a day with the use of both of these tools. So I want to know, did you find this helpful? Are you using the Keyword Planner from Google? Are you using the Keyword Explorer? How are you doing keyword research? Do you think you'll try this out? Let me know in the comments below this video. And if you liked this video, make sure you hit subscribe or share this with someone that you know could use some help with doing some free keyword research.